for the best water deals in town, your local needs. Fill up your 18.9 liter for the low price of only $2 or your 4 liter for only 50 cents. Pure Aqua Valley Water. Sportsandmore.com, joined by St. John Sea Dogs head coach Josh Dixon. Congratulations, Josh. Was, has it been a week? Thanks, John. Um, not quite a week yet. Uh, it, it's been a little bit surreal in terms of how everything has taken place. A quick drive out from, from back home in Ontario. Uh, one practice under my belt, and uh, we had a game last night, and then another opportunity here tonight. But, but just been uh, surreal at the same time, and, and loving every minute of it. Let's begin with uh, Joe Valeno. Uh, third year in the league, uh, but this year playing on a, a very different team. Doesn't have perhaps a supporting cast he's had the last two. Tell me about what you're expecting from Joe this season. Well, the biggest thing from Joe really is to be where his feet are. He needs to live in the moment. He needs to have the attitude that every single day he gets up, he comes to the rink, he looks to get a little bit better. And, and he has goals, and, and the goals that are process goals as much as outcome goals. And identifying whether it's face-off percentage, whether it's his ability to control the puck, whether it's scoring chances that he's able to create, scoring chances he's able to take away, little, little intricacies of his game that he can continue to improve upon. That's where his focus needs to continue to be and just continue to expand his game. If he's worrying, worried about or thinking about what's going to happen in June or where he's going to end up, then, then he's really not taking advantage of the time and space where he is. So, so that's the biggest thing that we're going to continue to encourage Joe to do is you know, live in the moment and, and be present in terms of where he is. He's a great young man, a person of excellent character. You saw that obviously at the Holinka tournament where he was captain in the Team Canada for a gold medal. Uh, and he's mature enough to recognize that that's where fo his focus needs to be, and, and he is that type of, type of person that uh, is worried about the here and now. First off, congratulations on the gold medal, Ivan Holinka, uh, captaining uh, the Team Canada to the victory there. Uh, tell me just about that, that experience. Yeah, it was a really good experience, really fun experience. Uh, obviously, winning gold, there's no better feeling than that. And, um, you know, we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. And, um, you know, it's just really nice to see, uh, I guess, 20 20 or so guys just come together as, as a team for a short amount of time and, uh, you know, do something really special, which we did. A couple of your teammates, uh, of course, opponents during the regular season, but teammates at the Hull Lake, Jared McIsaac and Benoit Olivier Grew, got to know them a little better, I suspect. Uh, what, tell me about them as, as teammates. Yeah, they're really good guys. Uh, I mean, it's different uh, when you're playing against them uh, on the same team and um, against different teams. Obviously, it's different, but... Um, yeah, they're really uh, humble, good kids, and um, you know, obviously, they were really big aspects in, in that team. And um, you know, just just being with them was was uh, was a real pleasure. And uh, playing alongside uh, you know Benoit Olivier and uh, with Jared McIsaac on the back end, and uh, obviously Alexi Gravel and Nets, and um, you know, they were really big parts of the team. And um, you know, I wouldn't have uh, picked any other players to uh, to to do it with. Mm -hmm.